Okay, so I have the pleasure of introducing uh, the three projects that are participating today. Um, no, A1. <laughs> Exactly. So, as William said, uh, the CIRCAS project is ending uh, officially on March 31st, 2024. And so we wanted to organize this, uh, this meeting to pr share our results, but not on only our results, also the, also the results of two other projects. And we hope to show here how all of these projects are contributing to inspiring and support the work of the European Commission. Uh, hopefully, uh, the objectives of the day are as follows. We will be able to help you piece together the different pieces uh, of the DPP puzzle. Hopefully, after today, you, these, a few of these pieces will have come together. Maybe, uh, like it is for me, some pieces still need to come together, but we're getting there. Uh, so this, this is, this is the, the point of the day. Uh, so I have the pleasure of introducing you the two other projects that are going to be presenting today. So the uh, Product Information 4.0 project uh, actually ended in August of 2023. And its goal was to identify information gaps in current European legislations for a circular economy. They focused on product groups such as textiles, electronics, and automotive batteries and packaging and they were funded by the German Environmental Agency. Next, uh, the, we have the pleasure of having the Battery Pass uh, Consortium with us today. Uh, this is a uh, consortium of 11 partners that is coordinated by uh, Systemic. And uh, here the focus is on the advancing the European Battery Passport. Uh, it is uh, co-funded by the German Federal Ministry for Economic Affairs and Climate Action, and it's a three-year project, so they started before SIRPAS and are ending one year after SIRPAS. They have a very wide partner network of associated partners, supporting partners, and an advisory council. So uh, this is a very uh, ambitious uh, project, and I'm very happy to have them with us today. Uh, finally, the CIRPAS project, uh, which I am coordinating, is a, is a consortium of 31 partners. We are funded directly by the European Commission uh, from a DG Connect uh, a research program called Digital Europe Program. Um, so we are the, our goal is to build consensus on the architecture for a standard space DPP system. And over the past year and a half, we have built a wide uh, partnership and a very large stakeholder community uh, of interest. And here our interest is more on the cross-sectoral uh, DPP, but we are focusing more specifically on textiles, batteries, and electronics, because these are very uh, useful use cases. Okay, just a small disclaimer before I continue. I give the floor to Michele. Um, so it, within CIRPAS especially, we have a tendency to see the DPP as the mandatory core of a wider uh, information system. And so uh, indeed in CIRPAS, we believe that the DPP is uh, potentially an information system for the uh, circular economy, which would allow to connect the European internal market to the data economy. So what I ask, of all surpass speakers to, is to be very clear when you are talking about the mandatory regulatory DPP, which is our uh, uh, collective target for 2027. So making sure that we are compliant with the regulation and be very clear when you're slightly going beyond that and looking into the future. So since this event is mostly online, the, I will expect everyone in this room to connect to the Slido and help answer the questions that will be coming in um, online. There will be no oral live questions during the day. Everything is happening uh, through the Slido. So uh, please, everyone uh, here and everyone online, connect to the Slido and uh, have, uh, have a great day uh, over there uh, uh, interacting with the, with the experts in the room and outside of this room. 
Let's start right away with this first morning session. So the, the first session is focusing on why. Why do we need a DPP? Uh, with an introduction by Michele Galatola of the European Commission DG Grow. We have four presentations and a short video and the final presentation uh, from Australia, if uh, Steve uh, connects uh, to the WebEx, uh, which I would like him to do. Um, and so let's start right away with the presentation by Michele. <laughs> 